just like several other applications, Microsoft Word includes templates too, and this sometimes can be very useful. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use a label template of Microsoft Word to display or print out labels directly from Business Central. However, it is very important to know that you should be familiar with AL because I'm not going much into detail about the business logic of this report because you can download the sample files from this tutorial and copy and paste the code. However, we are focusing on how to create the layout and the design and not the business logic. Anyway, let me give you a short explanation about my data item. This is my data item customer. So we are going to create a layout for customer labels. I have added some columns. The columns are using source expressions based on different arrays. And there is one on after get record trigger where you can find the business logic. So we are looping through the different records and fill in the values into the arrays. And after that, we are going to use the array inside of the layout so that the appropriate information is there when we need them. However, to have more focus on the layout now, as you can see on my screen, I am working with a default layout and this is Word. And of course, I have already inserted the path to my layout file, which we first have to create before we can go into Microsoft Word. Let's do that by just open the command list and create a package. After that, you should find the new docx file in your RDLC subfolder or wherever you have created. Let's have a closer look where it is. Uh, here it's RDLC report 50,124. Here it is. And I'm going to open it externally in Microsoft Word. For now, it is still empty. And to change that, we need another instance of Microsoft Word. So please type in or open another instance of Microsoft Word. And inside of Microsoft Word, you have the option to show more templates. Just click on the link and search for all the available label templates inside of Microsoft Word. You can see there are several templates available and you can select any template you want. I cannot promise you that every template will work properly with my tutorial, but however, most of them should do. I have decided to work with the template error address labels. So I just click on the preview of the template and create a new document based on this template. All you have to do now is to press Control A to select all values and all pre-configured layouts of the template and press Control C for copy the template into the memory. After that, switch back to your first instance of Microsoft Word. This should be the one you have created with Visual Studio Code and AL and use Control V or Paste to paste the template values. There is no need for the existing text values, so you can select all of them and remove them by just press the Delete button on your keyboard. All we have to do now is to bring the dataset fields into the right place. And you have to do that by open the developer tab. If you can't see the developer tab, you have to enable it inside the options of Microsoft Word. Just look for the developer tab inside customize ribbon and enable the developer tab. The dataset is available inside the XML mapping pane. And you have to select the URN for the report itself, which is in my case 50,124. And now we can see the data item and the arrays. There are two arrays for every single row. It means in the first array, there's always the name of a customer. And in the second array, there is the address. To create the first label, just put the cursor in it and click the right mouse button on the first array, insert the content control and select plain text. You can repeat that for label number two and, of course, label number three. After that, we want to have a new line inside of Microsoft Word. So place the cursor in the next line. 
and repeat what you have done a few seconds ago. Now it's for the address field. We are almost finished now, so there is one step more we have to go, and it is we need to tell Word that we want to repeat the display of these labels for every single row. To do that, use your mouse cursor and select all of the available fields. After that, move the cursor to the data item name, click on the right mouse button, and insert a repeating content control. And this is everything you have to do to print out labels in Microsoft Word. Select the template of your choice, fill in the dataset fields, and insert a repeating content control for the first single row of your labels. Now you have to close and save your layout. You can close, save, or remove the layout you have created for Microsoft Word. Switch back to your Visual Studio Code. Publish the report to Business Central and use the Tell Me feature at the top of your page to look for your label report. If we zoom in, you can see that it is working. We have now a single label for every single customer and we have three labels in a single row of Microsoft Word. It looks like that there is a mistake about the address field and this is something that is not due to the design, but however, it seems like an issue and mistake inside the business logic. I will fix that in the sample files so you can really only download the business logic, the fixed business logic, and you also can see the address fields. In conclusion, I therefore summarize it is not really very hard to create labels based on a template in Microsoft Word. The really hard part is to create the business logic. However, if you did that, you are able to select the template of Microsoft Word and only place the fields from the dataset inside the labels. And you have a very smart solution to print out or to save labels directly from Business Central based on a Microsoft Word template.